On the 3rd of November, 2024, Linkin Park has just done their Paris show from the From Zero World Tour. This was with Sleep Token. This is the first of this new tour that wasn't in the round. I've done a full reaction to the Hamburg show that was in the round, and I've been waiting for this because I really want to see just the traditional, the band is up the front and the crowd is watching them. I want to see how Linkin Park performs like this. There aren't any good videos of this yet. So what we're going to do today is there's a two hour long video that is just from the balcony watching the stage, but there are also lots of really good quality single song videos. So as we go through this show, we're going to mainly watch from the balcony shot, but then each song, I'm going to quickly see if there's a better quality video. So we'll get to see this from a whole bunch of different angles, which I think is a lot of fun. So this is the full set from the From Zero World Tour show in Paris in La Defense Arena, La Defense Arena on 3rd of November. Today is the 5th of November. So I've just been waiting for these Paris shows. I'm also sick as a dog, which is how I'm getting to do this because I'm home today. But there's going to be, I'm going to mute the coughing. My voice is a bit funny, but let's hang out and let's watch this together. I have the full set list. It'll be down below with the timestamps if I've done this right. All right, here we go. They start with Somewhere I Belong, and I've found a good quality video of it, so when they come out on stage, I'll switch to that angle. Oh, I like how they've got this stage that comes out into the audience. That's sick. Han. God, I wish he was just part of the band. He seems like such a great fit. Woo! Colin's such a great fit. I, I really love this new era of Linkin Park. Woo! Oh, the mesh is back. I love it, just a standard stage set up again. It feels right. It feels good. Hearing the crowd loving it, oh, amazing. I love her just using the mic stand as well. Like I know that she roams and she gets more active. But with the amount of pressure on her to hit the songs. Barry! It's a big crowd. You just hear, heard the roar. This person's right down, right in the pit. And you just heard the roar like from the stadium behind us. 
I don't know if I've seen that Les Paul that Mike's playing. I thought he played a telly mostly. So interesting to hear Hans, like that high tone that goes along with the vocals that adds a little fullness to the vocals. They've always done it. It's just when she stopped early and I was like, what am I still hearing? That's that. Those tones that they have through their choruses to elevate them. Very sick. Look at that smile! Oh, I love that it's such a celebration. Look at Mike as well. God, I've been listening to all the Mike's uh, solo stuff, Post Traumatic, Ziggurats, Crimson Chapter. It's so good to see him up here with this smile on his face. Alex, right? Yes, Alex, the touring guitarist. Oh, that vocal's nice. The, the roar for Mike. I love that. She's got some moves, like it is evolving. Or maybe she's bringing more of her to it. She moves like Tillian from, they used to be in Dance Gavin Dance. I think the Music Man is my favorite bass of Phoenix's. I find it so weird when he plays the precision bass. Was that a little elbow from Phoenix on the way past? I love that. I love that. He just gave her a little a little jab on the way past. And these are the kind of guys that would do that, like having fun, joking around. Love to see it. I could be wrong, but I'm hoping that's what that was. Rolling. Everybody get it. That's one of those earworms that's now going to be in my head, like all the live from Texas stuff. Is this, had I not realized that this is normally, this is normally a Chester part, but Mike can sing it perfectly. Wow. Oh, I love that.
hard work and overtime on this one. I love Mike singing this verse so much. It's hard to explain. Oh, hell yes. Yes! I wanted to see the crowd. Perfect. Oh, no. Now, you want... <laughs> I love that they're like, mistakes will happen. It's a live show. Yeah, that's the, it's okay, get back to it. The amount of pressure she's under, having Mike there, to in that moment be like, she said the wrong line, give her that hug, get her back out there. Like, I feel like that just like, hyped her up, just in that moment. Lying from you. It's cool seeing the screens from this angle. Wow, there's so much space in the bowl down the front. Like, that must be really limited tickets, because once you get past that here, it's so packed here, but it's so spaced out in there. That'd be amazing. I love when there's that crowd response. So sick, nailed that. So sick.
I've switched to the 720 because they don't cut between songs. They don't speak Spanish. It's French. Come on, guys. Doing some weird audio stuff. We'll stick to the other one for the songs. But for the in-betweens, I'll cut to this one. Just found another angle. See what the audio is like. This audio is sick. You can hear the bass. You can hear the drums like booming. New divide. I think it was Hot Picks that uploaded this one. I think I said completely incorrectly uh, New Divide was their biggest song. Have I done it again? Have I mixed up? New Divide's the, the Transformers one, yes? Back in the day, I swear I saw something. Like back before Spotify. I thought it had been on Billboard charts that New Divide was their biggest song. But I went and looked it up recently to double check. It's not. I don't know where I got that from. But I remember when I found that out initially, I was shocked. I was like, how? It's not even on an album. How is New Divide such a big song? Steve OG is somewhere in this crowd watching this show. I'm so jealous. Oh, Colin standing up. That's so sick. I love his energy. I, he may be my new favorite member of the band. Like Mike's still my favorite member, but of the three new members, I just love Colin. So, like, multi-instrumentalist, adds so much to so many different songs. Great energy, nice guy. Worked with Papa Roach. All ticks. All ticks in my books. Oh, I want to be there. I like, I like the gruffness on distance. This is one of those songs where it's like, I see why they picked this for the set list. She nails this. I just had Callie message me. If you want to hang out every Monday and Thursday, I do a Twitch stream and we listen to requests from chat and it's a good time. So come find me on Twitch. So one of the guys messaged me with, uh, with this video <laughs> or with one of the Linkin Park Paris videos. People are helping me out. Next is the emptiness machine. And I'm so interested, so interested to see how this goes in a stadium like this. <laughs> she doesn't banter, she just woos. 
And they both charge down the runway. Oh, I love to see it. This is a sick angle for this. I wonder what that t-shirt said. Someone threw a t-shirt up. She looked at it and went... <laughs> I think someone was cheeky. There's a lot of feedback. Dude, I love that this song is already such a big hit. Everyone's going nuts for it. I was like, is she going to spit? Yes. <laughs> vocalists. Rock vocalist things. Got to do what you got to do. So much more comfortable. I need this album. So sick. I would love to see Steve in the crowd. Oh my god, New Lincoln Park is so good. I'm so excited. I want this album. I love that the new songs just fit into the set. The new vision, like the new versions of the old songs, it's just all great. My god. <laughs> Oh my god. When she writes it, she owns it. Looking for Steve, looking for Steve. Steve's hanging out with the vessel out the back. Do you know what I've just realized that's really exciting? Somewhere backstage, Lincoln Park met Sleep Token without their masks. Back down the runway for the catalyst. Yes. I hope this all edits together well. I'm realizing how much work I'm making for myself. I want to capture the whole thing with everything in between songs and everything. Just got a notification on my phone from Lincoln Park to watch the Heavy's The Crown video. I already have and I loved it. The uh, world's opening ceremony. This light show and this experience they've created. Did you, the whole crowd has been like, whoa! Something special. Alex with the worn blue strap. Interesting. That's a minutes to midnight guitar if I've ever seen one. Rock as.
Phoenix has got the P-Base out, Sunburst, I still find that such a funny pick for Lincoln Park. What's Colin drinking out of that can? If that's energy drink, he's even more my new favourite. If that was a can of energy drink, he overtakes Mike as my favourite favourite. <laughs> it's probably like water in a can, liquid death or something. But speaking of... People with cameras at shows, when you zoom, it changes the mic. Stop doing that. Although this is a sick footage, actually. That's a gold pick. Pick guard, I guess, on that base. I want this bit. Yeah! The little crackle in the voice as well, I love it. I wonder what this show is like for her, because this is the first big Linkin Park show, just looking at the whole crowd. At least in the round, you're taking them in section by section. Just looking at this giant arena. Catalyst. Next one is Burn It Down. 
with a new angle. I love taking in the show from all these different perspectives. Another good audio! So thick! This is from Sinan Osman. There's the focus. She's getting a little, bit, a little bit of a bop to her step there. Oh, the confidence, the strut down the stage, hell yes. The dance down the stage, down the runway. Next is waiting for the end. Back to Aaron for this one. It is funny the songs that are becoming the new Linkin Park classics with Emily. Like, I've always loved this song, but it wasn't one of my favorites. With Emily, it's one of my favorite Linkin Park songs. Security guards are locking eyes on me over here. Mm. Mm. 
Unreal. Harmonizing perfect. a lot of risk in falling off that stage. The dude from Coldplay just fell off the stage in, uh, in Melbourne. Poor guy. That'd be a horrible feeling. Oh my god. Dave Grohl broke both his legs, I think. Broke both legs falling off stage. So sick. She's got to try it. She has to now. Hey, it turns out I know French. I understood what she said. Oh, the realization on her face. They're chanting Emily. Oh, that's beautiful. When she realized they were chanting her name. Oh my God, look at that. She's like, it's like she's just realized that she's accepted in that moment. Did you see the look on her face? The comf like she was so comfortable all of a sudden. That's magic. That is a magic moment. Castle of Glass. Fun. Is this left of stage? Is this what you call it? Or do you call it right of stage like you're on stage? 
just another angle, another camera. Another camera that zooms and changes the mic. That's a good pitch. Alright, we're DJ Han Colin solo. So sick, I love this so much. When they come for me and remember the name, hell yes. never stopped creating. Going back and listening to all the stuff, he put out three albums in 2020, instrumental albums. He just, like, seeing him do this, this is him in his element. He experiments and he creates. He creates music, he creates art, he creates deluxe editions of things, he just keeps producing things. He never stopped. I love it.
<laughs> Dude, I love how he gave that. That delivery wants the next thing to be just like the first. Dude, the roar just building. Hey guys, face. Hi. Yes. And a hundred percent reason to remember the name, Mike. Imagine being the person that got that hat. Oh, so good. I want to sit down with Colin and be like, hey man, I think we're a similar age. How did it feel to start working with Mike Shinoda and realize you had chemistry with Mike Shinoda? Is that just not a dream come true? comes out on the guitar. My French is terrible. I'm such an idiot American. <laughs> but You're nicer than that. But this is what she said. She said, Como se va, Perry? Nous sommes très heureux de travailler ce soir. Is that over each other in French? Merci de querir Emily de Comen. Merci uh, de votre soutien pour nos nouveaux titres. Merci beaucoup. This is a brand new song. It is called Over Each Other. Yeah! Emily Guitar debut for Linkin Park. So much more comfortable with her guitar. I feel like we're seeing 
a much more natural Emily here. I feel like she's so much more used to having the guitar on stage. I feel like we're seeing the real Emily here. She's always been a singer guitarist, right? All right. Damn. So good. It's like she's got her spark back. She's like, I sang my song, I had a guitar, I nailed it, I was comfortable. There's the telly. This is the middle song of the set. I love how like Mike's got so much to do on stage. He's like, damn it, I have to go to my keyboard and click something. Wrapping guitar around his neck. Gotta go over to my little DJ pad station to fix something up. Yeah. Hold on, let loose there.
his heart aches behind on the side stage there. Nice. Oh, she's, she's going to get that breathing in order. Here it is. The fact that they play this, so much pressure. She knows it. She's like, going to the end. I'm embracing it. I'm getting my breathing under control. I'm going to nail this. Get that sign down out of her face. I want that person with the sign to, I want them to know I hate them. Get that out of the way, you idiot. Get the sign down. They don't care. You're ruining it for everyone behind you. And me, watching this now on video. Oh my God, another one. What is wrong with his arm? Oh, no, it's just an arm. Oh, Han's up there with the camera. And Han's up there with the camera because Han knows that this is going to be big. Oh, did not. Here we go. Hard is right there, ready. I don't mind it being done in two. I do not mind it being done in two. I think it's a good way to do it. He actually had the tone so good for the scream. You just can't... Normal humans that aren't chest, they just can't hold that for that long. I love that they're all just like at the end going hard. Giving up. That's a good response from the crowd there. It's time. Woo! Song that started it all for me with Linkin Park. Woo! Started most of the world with Linkin Park. She's gone skipping down the runway. From the pit.
Oh, it broke. I get it. God, this is an important one for them now. Listen to the room. Just like respect. Just like. I love that they do this song with Emily. I think she might be looking at lyrics. If you watch her eyes, she's constantly looking down at a monitor. Probably just like a reminder, like I do, do not want to mess these up. Maybe not, she might be looking at the crowd. Could be wrong. transition What do you think it is that she's looking down at so much? Just so you can see the eyes a bit more. It's like almost like a comfort thing, like she's looking down at her hands. Like she couldn't see a screen with the mic in front of her. This is another one that she hits so well.
So sick. Great version of the song. Great performance. Breaking the habit. I could have sworn it was a butter butter. I did that wrong. That's on me. I think I'm reading into things too much. Like when I'm seeing her that she may be looking at a teleprompter for lyrics. She throws to the crowd a lot. I'm like, is she psyching herself out? Is she stressing herself out with lyrics? So much pressure. But that's what makes that other moment before where everyone cheered her so important. Have your moment, Alex. You deserve it, you legend. You're the new guitarist in my eyes. Brad just doesn't know how to let go. I've always wished that this bit that Mike's doing had lyrics. Like, I love it. I just wish he was saying something. Well, damn, they like that one. stage show with the lasers and everything is so sick. This must be so incredibly bassy.
Oh my god, I feel like when the crowd is singing along with Mike with this, it is just a giant hug from the fans. Phoenix on guitar on an SG. I forgot this happened. What is happening? Why does Leave Out All The Rest have no bass? I would love it if it was Phoenix shredding. Why? Emily plays guitar! Why would you put Phoenix on guitar? Why would you not have Emily on guitar for this song? This makes no sense to me. What a crazy decision. Keep Phoenix on bass, give Emily a guitar for this song. Obviously, obviously. I just want a guitar in her hand as often as possible. Oh, look at that nice little look. Makes me so happy. A little mess up there, he was like, Ooh. That is hilarious. They do so much on stage. And they like, technically they don't need to. They can have all of this on backing track, all the synthy stuff, or Han can take care of all of it up there. Mike does so much and it makes it so much more genuine and cool. I love that they do it. It's a very real performance, even for like one of the biggest bands in the world. To give themselves the opportunity for little human moments is very important, I think. Phoenix is like, look how light this little thing is. This dumb little guitar you guys play. I'm a bass player, if you didn't know that. I'm a Fender enthusiast. Love Fender jazz basses. What is that guy trying to do? He's holding his phone up. I think he's got like a message written on there or something. I don't know. People do dumb stuff at shows, hey? That other person is still holding up that piece of paper. I just saw it again. I love that harmony. That's nice. The crowd, unreal. Phoenix getting the bass back, it's more like it.
Reanimation is one of my favorite. Oh, it's it's my favorite Linkin Park album. It's a very special song to me. I've always loved it. Acoustic. I love it. I love it. Mike is way too loud. God, these harmonies! That's unreal. God, this takes me back to high school. Like, I just, I loved this album so much. It was such, so important to me and it's such an important part of my life. gushing about Colin Britton. What a man. Oh my god. I, I haven't done this for this stream, but... Stream video. Stunning! Stunning! Oh. So amazing. It's so crazy how they have to do so much change between the songs. Change in instruments, like, completely from drums to guitar and back. <laughs> 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 
so eine dreckige Latte gerade. <lacht> Thumbs off. <laughs> Like her ears are off or something. Yeah. What are we fighting for? What are we fighting for? Who's supposed to protect you? No matter what. Some I forgot when they told me. We heard the ones we loved. Can't look back what's been broken. Friendly Fire being one of their staple songs in 2024 is amazing. The journey of this band, the way this has all unfolded. Her voice suits that bit so well. Tip for all bands, learn the language, because they love it. Thank you. Far too kind. He's got his phone up there, so funny. whole place is singing. Oh my god. I've seen all the, the screens and everything from the front here.
smashed that. That's the best she's done that that I have heard. What a roar. Hell yeah, baby. And he makes the noise for Mr. Han. We love you, Mr. Han. Is this coffee still hot? Or have I let this go cold? It's like perfectly drinkable. Any colder and I wouldn't be able to. Hello, I'm Mr. Han. Emily sounded really great on that song. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. He just goes, Emily sounded really... He just goes, Emily sounded really great on that song. <laughs> then he says something about speaking Korean. I don't know if he said thank you. <laughs> hmm, speak up, Joe. So, what are we going to do, Mr. Hunt? Mr. Hunt in the house, Mr. Hunt in the house. Oh, wow, she can, get a, she can get a chant going. See, this is the best. I think Michael's gonna say something. It kind of cut off. Well, it wouldn't be crazy. Can I say something really dumb? I loved Emily in in Hamburg where she put on that soccer top. Someone had like thrown a soccer top for like the, the German soccer team. And now I, I kind of wish it was her thing to just like wear a soccer top. I don't even like soccer, football. But she looked really good in it. I think it was really cool. Oh my god, the energy! Like, throwing it to the crowd like that. I love it so much. Oh, look at the crowd go. Every hand is in the air. Oh. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, shit, that's got me. Oh, that's unreal. Oh, that's killed me. That's amazing.
Oh, that's beautiful. I love that so much. Every single person is jumping. Oh my god, this is unreal. And this is what they didn't have in, in the round. This is the first time we're getting this energy. God, this is an important show. Mike spotted someone. I love it. Love that old school LP guitar, PRS or whatever it is. Oh, unreal. That vocal was so good in that part. Love this live part. Big ending. Hell yes. Big finish. So sick. And we know because they haven't played heavy as the crown that it's obviously an encore to come back. I have the set list right here. Yeah, they're coming back. They've got three more songs. This show is so important. It is the first... The In The Round shows was such a unique, strange thing, right? This is just like the first big arena show with a regular stage 
giant crowd, seeing a whole big pit, everyone on the ground jumping, is something they haven't been able to do yet. The question is, how long will they make the people wait? There's so much noise I can't hear if there's a chant for one more song. I think there is, but I think the audio on this camera is so strange. But this is the only camera that didn't cut out the, the in-betweens. God, I hope you don't get seizures. How long does this go for? I guess they really, really want to have that breather, regroup. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, someone, I, I don't speak French, but someone just said about time and said something about Heavy as a Crown. Like, we know you're coming back. You haven't played the new favorite song of everybody. bringing back all the little sound bites from all the albums incredible Mike heading to the front of the stage all right I'm gonna try to find an angle from right in front of that front stage the platform That paper cut riff. Oh, hell yes. Emily coming up as well. Thank you. 
Colin's drumming is so good. The amount of parts he adds. That's so sick that she does the double pistols. So sick. Here we go. Heavy is the crown. This is going to go so hard. And our boy, our homeboy Faker. We got the pleasure of playing the song in London, and we hope you guys know the words. I love this song. Oh, the crowd's into it as well. This is the one. This is the song. Emptiness Machine is sick, but this is the song. This is the Linkin Park Is Back song. I wonder how it would have gone if they launched with this song. Yes! So sick! So sick. It's funny how when she when she reaches the threshold of how impressive it is, the crowd just start all jumping in like, yeah! So good.
Oh my god. They know it as well. They know that's the new song. Like, that's the new Linkin Park song. That is the new banger. The new hit. That's so sick. I love that. I love that. And also thank you so much. I see these signs. He said, let's say thank you for this new era. Thank you for this new era. All we can do is try our best and write things that we love. And then once they leave our hands, they're in your hands. And the response from our fans everywhere has been fucking incredible. Love that. So thank you for that. This one's going to be our last song. The band just talked in my ear and they said, say hi to Teddy Swims. Our boy Teddy Swims in the house. What's up, Teddy? This one's going to be our last song. Thank you very much. Make some noise. Let's see you. It is a party in this pit. Wrong. Ah, oh, Phoenix. It seems like they are having the best time. Nailed it. Whoa, she's going off. Oh, I love this. I forgot they did this. So good. Oh, dude, listen to the crowd.
Give it Cole and his Jews. I love it. Oh, that's so sick. Big ending. The biggest drum roll finish of all time. It's a big jump to time with the last hit. I think Mike's trying to get Emily to come over. Yeah, yeah, he's like, get out of here, get out of here. Yeah, 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 here she comes. They can do the big bow. How sick. Look at that. I wonder how many people are in attendance. Such a massive arena show. The whole crowd went nuts for the whole set. Two hour set. So much love. I think this is a really, really important show for the new Lincoln Park. I love how dedicated Han is to capturing all this stuff and all these cool little camera things. That's awesome. Oh, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed hanging out and watching this with me. I hope the different angles and everything was cool, something different. I could have just watched the whole thing from one angle, but I thought, you know what? Try something different, try something fun. I loved seeing it from all different angles. Bit of a cool experience from different perspectives, different point of views, points of view. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you've got other bands and other concerts that you want me to do a full concert, if there are like other epic performances that I can do a full video for, Please let me know because I love doing it. I love watching full performances. So if there's other epic Linkin Park ones like Rockham Rings or anything, let me know which are the bands, which are the performances to watch. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching that whole show with me. That was insane. I do an album reaction every week on Patreon. I do two streams a week on Twitch where we uh, listen to everyone's requests. And I got the YouTube here. So thank you all so much. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. See ya.